Hello again. Today we will be speaking about uh, excited vibration. Generally, we will be continuing the topic of the nonlinear vibration. I mean, we have the problem of the nonlinear vibration. And it will be like I told you at the beginning, it will be about the excited oscillations. Okay, and we will be dealing with exactly the same problem like in the previous video. I mean, we will be speaking about some mass which will be hung on the nonlinear elastic component or elastic spring, sp elastic uh, element, with, where we have such a formula which describes the force inside that connector, and there will be one difference, we will introduce some excitation in the form of the F times M, I mean the mass of that system, because here we need, let's say, some force, it means that the F uh, has a physical meaning of the acceleration, and it will be times sine nī t as a component which gives us the harmonic changes of the of the of the excitation. And if we assume such a coordinate frame x, then the governing equation for that problem will be as follows. I mean, it will be x double dot. I mean, the inertia force ma minus minus uh, elastic force but it will be uh, on the left hand side it means it will be s of x with the positive sign you can check it by your computations it will be such a thing of course kx cube times epsilon equals right hand side equals our excitation in that case it will be f times m times sine nī t and like I told you, it's that constant component, that amplitude of the, of the excitation. Okay, and like always, we can simplify everything by the mass. It means we are getting such a thing. Due to that formula, we have the omega zero squared times x plus omega zero squared times epsilon times x to the uh, third. And I will put everything on the right hand on the left hand side like last time because i need such a form for the application of the galeric king method because in the moment i will have to use the operator of the line, right hand side to formulate the minimization condition okay it means that if we will introduce such an operator it will be given by following formula i mean exactly the same which we see here, minus f sine nī t, and now we can uh, now we can predict the solution. And due to the physical meaning of that process, and due to how that process will should look like in practice, we will we will predict that solution will be given. Our predicted solution, I mean the x side, will be given by the a times sine with the same excitation as. Uh, excitation with the same frequency as the frequency of the excitation. Why? Because typically if we are exciting some system with some frequency, the response of the system has the same period. Maybe the amplitude are, are different, maybe the process is different. I mean, it is contains, contained uh, from bigger for, from bigger number of the components, but the period, the base period is exactly the same. Okay, and now we can apply that thing with uh, for our nonlinear uh, left hand side operator and then we will get such a thing i mean exactly the same which we see here but with the tile i will rewrite that formula again epsilon x times cube minus f sine nī t and for that purpose we can put that it will be I mean, we need the x star without derivative because we need that thing for putting here and second part, it's a second derivative of 
that process, I mean, it will minus as a contribution of the twice differentiation times knee t. Again, it's a contribution of the twice differentiation times sine knee t. We know that it will be uh, such a formula, and now we can put everything for our left hand side operator. We see that it's a uh, omega 0 square times a times sine knee t minus uh, knee square times a and it will be times sine knee t now that part plus omega 0 square epsilon times x not x x is here I mean it will be a uh, to the third times sine cube knee t and minus that component sine knee t Okay, and of course, like last, like last time, like we saw it in uh, our uh, previous videos, I mean, uh, like we saw it in the video about free uh, nonlinear vibration, it can, be, uh, it can be expressed as a free over 4 times sine nit t minus 1 over 4 times sine free nit t such a formula and now we see that we have the common factor of the sine t it will be for that element for that element and also for that element if we will group it we will get such a thing i mean our f of x start will be given by such a thing sine t times that entire stuff omega zero squared times a minus ni squared times a plus omega 0 square epsilon a uh, cube uh, with 3 over 4 because here we see that component connected with the sine nitty and minus f and it will be all if we talk if we are talking about the sine nitty the second component will be connected with the sine Three ni t, but it will be multiplied only by minus over four times minus one over four times omega zero square epsilon a cube. Nothing more. Okay, for the easier computation, I will denote that by c one and c two letters uh, that letters uh, doesn't bigger matter, and now we can formulate our minimization condition it will be like we did last time it will be connected with the application of the Galerkin method I mean here we have the product of the L of X in that case it will be sine ni t times that component I mean C1 maybe by the different color C1 and plus sine Three ni t times c two, and everything will be multiplied by sine ni t because it's uh, connected with the way how we uh, formulate the minimization con condition due to the Galerkin method, and everything will be equals zero. Okay, and now we can rearrange our formula. We see that we are getting such a things. I mean, two times integral over t here we have c1 times sine square ni t dt and the second integral it will be two times over entire period or maybe like last time with the blue color times c2 and now we have the c t as a contribution of that part and times sine free t as a contribution of that part and dt and everything will be equals like we see here equals zero okay and due to our previous considerations we know we remember that that entire stuff that entire part everything which is here will be exactly zero whatever of the va value of c2 will be it means that because of the trigonometric identities that 
integral of sine t times sine infinity will be always zero, constantly zero, uh, and there is any uh, there, and there isn't any influence of the value of the c2 of that result. I mean that part disappeared for every single case. It means that we have to consider only that part and from the calculus we know that integral of the sine square nitty, I mean of the product of the harmonic process with the same uh, frequency is not zero. I mean we cannot, I mean we uh, won't get zero if we're talking about the integral of the sine square nitty. But still c1 doesn't depend on the time. That is why I can rearrange that formula for such and form. I, I mean it will be 2 times c1 times that integral which we can be sure that is not zero. I mean sine square ni t d t. We have such a thing. What does it mean? It means that if we want to fulfill the left hand side that entire product is zero that thing should be zero, but it's not possible because we stated just the moment that it's not zero. Two should be zero, but two is not zero because it's not zero. It means that there is only one exit. It means that the C1 is zero. I mean, that entire expression is exactly zero. And it will be omega zero squared times A minus mi squared times A if I'm right, that component it will be plus omega 0 squared times 3, 4 times epsilon times a cube and minus f times nothing. If I'm right, yes, it's only, it means nothing times, it means times 1. And that entire part has to be 0. Now we can simplify that formula by a, it will be easy and we can rewrite, rearrange, I mean we can put that component uh, on the right hand side and we will get that ni square is exactly omega 0 square plus omega 0 square times 3 over 4 times epsilon times uh, a square and minus f. Okay, and what we have here. Here we have two expressions. Firstly, that thing is connected with the free vibration of the nonlinear system. Free vibration. Okay? And it's exactly the same solution as, uh, as we got last time if we were talking about the free vibration. And that part, which is of course divided by A, it's connected with excited vibration excited vibration okay nice and what we are getting as a solution if we do draw the plot of the amplitude in the function of the knee square here we have that part connected with the free vibration it's exactly the same curve what we saw in the movie about the free vibration. I mean, it's a, some parabolic shape where the A is the argument and the influence of that part is as follows. Let's use the black color. I mean, it's a hyperbolic function and it will look like that. It will be such a thing. Okay. And we see that in the neighborhood of the natural frequencies of the free vibration of nonlinear system, we see that the amplitudes goes to the high values. If we are talking about the regions uh, outside the resonance area, we have the small amplitudes like in typical case. As you see, it's not especially complicated. It means that you should manage with that problems. Thank you for your attention. See you next time.